Okay guys, I'm back. So now let's talk about the really important part of this. For those people who might feel like their training is stagnant in some way, okay? So we talked about the fat burning zone versus the sugar burning zone. When your heart rate, we've already figured it out, if your heart rate is between this 108 and 144, you're mostly burning fat, mostly. If your heart rate is above 162 and higher, you're mostly burning sugar. Now, neither one of those is bad or good. It just depends on what was your goal for today. If today I want to burn some fat because I want to see this disappear, then this is where I should kind of focus on. I should lift a weight or I should go at an intensity, no matter what's written on the board, that kind of keeps me somewhere, especially with these two. I should see a lot of blue and green on the screen. Why? Because when I work out and I see blue and green, my body will utilize fat as a fuel source. Now the unfortunate part of this for some people is that when you do activities that are on a scale of one to like five per se, and you're in this blue and green, you will not see a whole bunch of calories on the board. You can't burn 900 calories from fat in blue and green. Can you burn 900 calories? Certainly. But it's because you've done an amount of work that is higher on the scale. You've done six and sevens and eights and nines worth of activities. And because the intensity was so hard, that's how you burned a lot of calories. So if your goal is to burn fat, you're not concerned with calories that much. That's really not your concern a whole lot. You do want to see maybe three, four, or 500 calories, but you're not going to see sevens, eights, and nines if the goal is to burn fat. Conversely, if your goal is to build some muscle, you want to tone as we talk about. I want to tone. Toning means I first need to build some muscle and then on top of that, I need another session where I'm going to burn some fat. So in order to build muscle, you're going to kind of need to be up here in the yellow and red zone because yellow and red training burns sugar. But not only that, sugar is what you use to lift heavier weights. You need sugar to do that, not fat. Fat can't give you bigger muscles. So you need to be training up here. So it really depends on the goal for this particular session. Now, most of you, as I've talked in an earlier video, are trying to burn fat. So this is your zone for most days. If you come in here three, four, or five days a week, 70% of the time, you need to be in these two zones. Only one day a week do you need to make sure that you're getting a lot of yellow and red. Conversely, though, if you're already sort of thin and you're goal is to kind of build some muscle and tone, you're going to kind of want to be up here in the yellow and red because you're trying to build more muscle than burn fat. It just depends on the goal of the person. But believe me, everybody needs some combination of zone one, two, and three training versus some days with zone four and five training. All right. So this thing we talk about, this AT, last thing on this part, in the middle here, right above, at 144, we call that the crossover point, or the AT. This is where your body switches from burning fat to burning sugar. So at a, for this person, at 145 or 146, they're no longer using the predominance of fat. Now they're switching to sugar. Okay, so this AT. Now, when you first come in here to get your test, and we do your testing, and we determine that your AT is 144, for example, and then you stay with Redcore and you train for six months, you are now physically better. I'm talking to people right now this week about how much better they are. You're better. This is a snapshot of the person on this day. Six months later though, this AT will be higher. And that's why we need to retest you. Because now this 144 AT, I guarantee you will be at least a 150 or a 155. And so if you're still, and you've been at Redcore for a year now, and you never had a test, you had one test when you got here, but you're still working on the same zones, of course you're gonna always see blue and green on the screen 
because this was a snapshot, not of you now, this is a snapshot of that day that you did that test. Because you've been training with us, you are better than that. Because you are better than that, your AT would now be somewhere higher. In order to know your new zones, we'd have to retest you. But so many people here don't retest. They don't bother. And since you don't bother to retest, you're wondering why your results have stagnated. Your results have stagnated because you're trying to train according to the zones of the person you are when you had this test a year or two years or whatever it's been, that's what this is. This is the results of that person. You are a new person today. You need new zones to be able to update. And guess what? In six months from then, you'll probably need newer zones. Every three to six months, you should be getting new testing to find out what are my new zones. So if you have are not seeing the progress that you want to, that is because you are not working according to your zones. You are working on that old person's zones this is the definition of insanity, right? How can you keep doing the same thing but expect different results from the same thing? You're working with the same zones when you were the fat person 10 pounds ago. That's from that person. You're different now. You need new zones in order to get new results. If you're still working on the same zones, of course you won't get new results, okay? So it's time to get a new test because these are different. Take care and I got another video for you to explain this further.